Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another DVD Blu-ray update. Um, I just first of all wanted to say thank you to all the people who went over to my Facebook page and gave me a like. Uh, last week I had a DVD, oh, I'm sorry, I had a Blu-ray Steelbook giveaway. So in order for you guys to you know get in on this uh, thing again, which I'll be doing in the future, uh, go ahead, go to my Facebook page, give me a like, and you'll definitely you know have a better chance on winning one of these sets. Uh, as you can tell, I have very dramatic lighting on me right now. Um, problem is that I only have one light now, so now it, this side's kind of dark. But anyway, let's go on with the uh, DVD and Blu-ray update. That's been very, very much long overdue. Uh, let's just jump into this stack first. Uh, we got Underworld uh, Awakening. I have not seen it, even though I've had it for maybe a month. Um, it just, it's not, I guess I have to be really in the mood to to want to watch this, and I just really haven't been in the mood to watch this. So, yeah. Uh, next up, we have, uh, my, my actually my nephew got uh, told me about these, and um, I was really interested in, watching them it's uh, X-Men and Iron Man I guess it's like an anime form I'm not really sure if it's like seasons or not because I haven't watched them but please if anyone has seen these let me know what you guys think um, are they good are they bad I mean I'm gonna just throw it out there and say that the animated series the X-Men from the 90s was the best I don't think anything can ever beat that show it's just part of my childhood Next thing I got, and you can tell how old this, uh, like, I've had this, how long I've had this. Um, th I got, th <laughs> I got this on, uh, May 4th, uh, May the 4th be with you. And this was on sale on Amazon for maybe, like, $10 less than what it usually goes for. But I finally just decided to get it, because, I mean, I've been wanting to get it for a long time. But, yeah, it's been since, like, May, it's already July, it's ridiculous. Along with that, the, there was also Firefly for like 25 bucks, I think, and I've never seen it. And I've been wanting to see this first before I watch Serenity, uh, so this is why I got this. Because I, I mean, and then plus Joss Whedon, you know, and the Avengers that came out was amazing. I loved it so much, so I wanted to give this a try. Next thing I got was the Coen Brothers uh, collection. Um, Coen Brothers, they're, they're just crazy, and finally I got to see Raising Arizona, which I thought was hilarious. I mean, it's just so over the top, and, um, it was more like a cartoon uh, at that point, you know, with the baby crawling around all over the place. It was pretty funny, but if you haven't seen, or if you, if you like the Coen Brothers, this is a great set to pick up. I believe it's only 25 bucks or 20 bucks at uh, Best Buy so pick this up if you haven't gotten it yet uh, a couple of stuff from Best Buy exclusively they got the uh, Superman uh, with the figure uh, right there and uh, this this movie isn't like I love I love superheroes and comic books and all that but just this one wasn't as good as the other Superman stories I've seen um, I don't know what it was about it but I mean I've seen better uh, but I mean it was, it was still good also uh, as part of the special features there is uh, a preview to the Dark Knight uh, the return of the Dark Knight the Dark Knight Returns what am I talking about Frank Miller's adaptation of Batman the Dark Knight Returns and I'm so excited because Last year they made year one, Batman year one, on animated, and it was awesome. I loved it. This year they're doing uh, The Dark Knight Returns, which is going to be awesome as well. I can't wait to see that. So I got this Copland. I think it's so underrated. Um, 
you've got amazing people in there, like Sylvester Stallone. I mean, he's, I'm not saying he's amazing. I'm just saying. Robert De Niro, Harvey Keitel, Ray Liotta, and then Sly, which he plays pretty good. I mean, he's kind of like that real dumbfounded type of uh, character, but but uh, I, I, I absolutely love this movie. I mean, I think more people need to watch it. If you have a chance, pick it up. It's $7.99 at, at uh, Best Buy, but I picked it up for 3 bucks because I had a little reward zone card thing. So, yeah. I think that was Project X. I know that some people don't like this if you're um, a certain age. Me, I, I, <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Um, it, it was, I saw it on a night where I was just so exhausted from working, and and I just wanted to turn my my brain off. I watched this, and I just. It's a, one of those movies that you just have to turn off your brain to watch. I mean, it's so funny. All the things are over the top. It's supposed to be like that. So, I mean, whatever. I mean, I, I for what it is, it's entertaining. That's what it is. Next thing I got was Wrath of the Titans. I haven't even opened this yet. It's still in its wrapper. Uh, but I was actually thinking of going back and um, taking it back to, to Walmart. Because I kind of wanted to get the steelbook from Best Buy. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but I mean, if if they are if they're already out, then I, I don't even care. But I kind of wanted to do that, so if that's the case, I'll go do that. But Wrath of the Titans, you know, I'm not exactly looking forward to that movie. Next thing I got was Entourage, season eight, the the last season, which is really sad. Um, I love this show. Um, pretty much after this ended, I stopped watching TV. Uh, I haven't watched any new shows except, well, you know, now I'm going to be watching Breaking Bad. Which, speaking of, I, I did pick that up, but I don't have it with me. Uh, my nephew picked uh, took it so he can watch it. Breaking Bad Season 4 was incredible. I mean, I've never seen so much great writing in, in anything. I mean, I'm sure there is great writing in a lot of different things, but, but f yeah. Breaking Bad was incredible. Entourage, I think it started off kind of slow and it built up and you know, I'm like, oh, you know, last episode, you know, I, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I can't wait for the movie to come out. I know that's going to come out in a couple years, but I mean, Entourage was a great show too. Oh, the next thing I got was The Grey, which is an incredible movie. Uh, it's it's incredibly poetic. I mean, I loved everything about this movie. Um, one thing I kind of want to just talk about is that I love uh, you know the the I love I love the uh, slipcover and everything, but my I lent this to my sister, which she didn't even like it. Which right there alone, just kind of like, what are you talking about? What do you mean you didn't like it? Well, anyway, on top of that. She let my her dog get a hold of it. So if you can see that, very upsetting. Especially because it's a great, it's a great, oh, it's a great slipcover. Which is ruined now, but you know, it's, it's whatever. Anyway, Man on a Ledge. Um... I wasn't expecting anything out of this movie, and that's pretty much all I got. So, is it worth a buy? No, I don't think so. In fact, I'm kind of regretting buying it. But, maybe like a rental. Uh, yeah, like when you got nothing else to watch, you can rent it, I guess. Uh, next thing I got was Cori Coriolanus, which is a Shakespeare uh, play that's not very well known but Ralph Fiennes wanted to make it and the first I don't know what 20 or 30 minutes oh my god it's awesome like freaking gunfire war fighting um it looked awesome I was just like wow this is what I'm in for and then after that happened uh, you don't get that anymore and and they are, they, they're kind of, uh, it's kind of like the Romeo and Juliet thing where it's in, say in contemporary times, but they're still speaking the way 
it's written and sometimes that it was like a little it was a little annoying I'm not I'm not saying that it was like terrible I, I actually like this movie a lot it's just that it was very after that main battle thing it was just kind of like dead after that anyway uh, next thing I got was Rampart <sighs> well you know if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that I was living in LA for a little bit and uh, watching this movie I thought it was pretty good you know uh, definitely one of Woody Harrelson's best and uh, but just watching the movie I mean like they open I don't know it's like the first couple minutes uh, they're at Tommy's Burger. Oh, dude, I'm like, I'm so mad because it's just reminding me of all that stuff that I, I, I'm missing LA big time. I miss In-N-Out. I miss Tommy's Burger. And so that movie was good, but like, when I saw that scene, I was like, oh, you know, you know. <laughs> uh, the next thing I got was Time Traveler's Wife, uh, off of a recommendation. It was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Definitely different from what I thought it was going to be. Very like I thought it was going to be a chick flick, definitely, but it's not exactly that. It's a very it's a very modest modest movie. And the next thing I got after that was Twenty One Jump Street, which I thought was hilarious. I saw this and this was literally before the Avengers. This was the last thing I saw in theaters. It's already out on Blu-ray, so I don't really get to go to the theater a lot. But I was laughing my ass off, laughing my ass. I just thought Jonah Hill and Channing. I didn't even think I'd ever like Channing Tatum. This was a really funny movie, so I, I thought it was really great. So definitely worth a check out for sure. I, if you're a DVD Blu-ray guy like me, I would definitely get it. Get it. Next thing I got was a very very uh, nice surprise. Jeff who is at home. I love Ed Helms and I love Jason Siegel, so I, I already knew I was going to like this movie. But I thought the performances were great. I thought they were amazing. Uh, there was It wasn't like uh, an amazing film, but the it's just, it's funny all the little things that you think to yourself in your own head. And then you ever, you ever wonder if anyone else thinks those things, and in here... Jason Siegel's that kind of character. It's like, oh, I've done that before. I've done that. It's just it's so funny. Uh, check it out. Definitely one of my newer favorite uh, indie comedies. Definitely. So a couple of uh, weeks ago, maybe a month ago already, um, Best Buy had a couple of of uh, Blu-ray books that they were they had on sale, and I finally picked up the. Poltergeist I, it's one of my favorite movies um, one of my childhood I guess because I remember watching this and I was so scared especially that stupid ass clown I hated looking under my bed because of this movie but it was one of those movies that that's just it, it's such a classic movie it just sticks with you and it's beautiful I mean beautiful uh, you know, Blu-ray book. I love these digi books. I really do. So I just wanted to show a little bit of the inside. Um, it's got a lot of pictures and you know a lot of uh, writing. Uh, you know, pretty much a lot of stuff, uh, character information. Um, Toby Hooper, who directed the film. Yeah, it's one of it's one of those movies that you see as a kid and it just sticks with you for the rest of your life. It's I love I love uh, Poltergeist. It's one of my favorite films. Uh, the next one I got was another one that I, I I was gonna get right when it came out, but it was expensive, so I, I waited and I'm glad I waited because it was $14.99 and it's Malcolm X uh, film by Spike Lee, which is one of my one of my favorite directors. Um, uh, he's he you know a lot of people don't like him um, but I think he's incredible I mean Denzel Washington he he just Spike Lee knows how to tell a story he knows how to how to tell a, a, a story about people and that's what I love if you ever watch 
any of his films. It's all about the character development. It's nothing about anything else. It's all strictly character. It, so Malcolm X is one of my favorite Denzel Washington films because of the arc that he just goes like completely. It's incredible. So yeah, speaking of Denzel and Best Buy exclusives and stuff like that, I got Safe House. It's not his best, but like I was just saying, I love Denzel Washington, and for me, he could do no wrong. So Safe House is a great movie, in my opinion. It's not the best movie. Uh, it's not even the best action movie. It's not, and I got the steel book from, from Best Buy, and it's the size of a DVD, which kind of sucks because I kind of wanted to put it in my shelf. But I have my Blu-rays and my DVDs separated. So it's going to look a little weird. But I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Anyway, also, I in love Ryan Reynolds. He's a, he, I think he's, he's, he's a, you know, he, he plays a smart ass so well that it's just, I don't think anyone else can pull off a character like he does. But I love, I actually really like this movie, so it was, it was very entertaining. Next thing I got was another Best Buy exclusive, and that's Act of Valor. Uh, Act of Valor, not the best acting whatsoever, but some of the most incredible images uh, of war. I mean, it's very stylized, but definitely it was it was incredible seeing them actually work I mean these guys are actual Navy SEALs so watching them actually do everything that they're doing I thought it was pretty good uh, it's definitely not the best acting wise but I mean action wise it was pretty good now another Best Buy exclusive uh, except this is like the worst one of them all so I, I like found footage movies, you know, it's kind of one of those movies that I like watching, um, but this one was terrible. It was terrible. It's not even so bad it's good, it's just so bad it's bad. I can't even watch this anymore. The, the reason I say it's a Best Buy exclusive is that Best Buy had the rights to the Blu-ray before anyone else, so... Uh, it was bad. I did not like that movie at all. It wasn't scary. It was... It was so, so dumb. I did not like it. Next thing I got was Chronicle. Very surprised by this movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, there's a guy in here who... Another, like, found footage type of thing. But at this time, they do it right. I like it. Um, they... It, I mean, a lot of the things you gotta, it might, you have to suspend, obviously with Chronicle you definitely suspend disbelief, but, but filmmaker wise, I'm like, dude, come on, how the hell are you gonna get audio from a person who's like a thousand feet away from you, and you can hear him clearly, but that's the thing, anyway, uh, <laughs> Chronicle is really cool, I liked it a lot, check it out. Uh, the last uh, Blu-ray that's the next thing I'll show you is all I'll show you right now Battle Royale finally got to see this and I thought it was it was really good I liked it a lot it's very cheesy at points I mean if you ever seen this you'll you'll understand what I mean when I say that it's very cliche at some points and it's very uh, cheesy when when if you guys don't know about this I mean the trailer should give it all away it's it's pretty much a class <coughs> they all they're 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 taken to the woods and they all kind of have to kill each other if not they'll all die and the survivor gets to go home but the way some of these people die is hilarious I mean it's uh, <laughs> I mean, there's people in here saying last words, and then, oh, I've always loved you, and then they die. I mean, come on, that's some cheesy shit right there. Anyway, 
other than that, it's a great movie. It also comes with part two, which I haven't seen, but I saw part one, which is great. So, you know, I'll, I'll be watching part two soon. The next stuff I got, which is the last of it, uh, are all Best Buy exclusives. And, oh my goodness gracious, I love Goodfellas. Goodfellas is my favorite movie. It's a steel book. It's a, it's a steel book. You know what sucks about it though? Is that there's no back art whatsoever in any of these. Which is really upsetting because I saw that they're also selling uh, Inception. And I didn't get Inception for my, I, that's one of the giveaways that I had. I gave it away. But I'm pretty sure it didn't have anything inside. I have an Inception steelbook from FYE that has a bunch of art inside it. So I'm guessing, I don't know what's going on with these steelbooks because they don't have any art, which is very upsetting. But anyway, it's really cool to just have them. Um, Shawshank Redemption, which I finally got on Blu-ray. Uh, I was going to get the Digibook, but then when I saw this, I was like, no, I'm going to get, <laughs> I'm going to definitely get the steelbook. So it's a very awesome steelbook. Um, it's just, I guess the only gripe I have about these Best Buy exclusive steelbooks is that they don't have any back, I mean, any inside art, which is very sad. Uh, the next thing I got was the Matrix, which I think is one of the best covers uh, for the Steelbooks. This one has is incredible. I love that. And so, check that out. It, like I said, it would have been so much cooler if there was just art inside, but there's no art. The next one I got was 300. Three, I have a love affair with 300. 300 is actually my first Blu-ray I ever got. So when I when I saw that they have a steelbook, hell yes, I'm gonna get it. And the inside. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is actually the backing of the steelbooks. I just put them inside the case. Uh, another movie that I didn't even know was gonna be an exclusive steelbook was Green Lantern, but. It's not good. I think I didn't have any hopes for this movie anyway, so I wasn't completely disappointed because I was just like whatever. But right here it says everything that Green Lantern says at the end of the thing or whenever he becomes Green Lantern. And look at how gay this is. This is terrible. Like not even the disc has art on it. Anyway, that's pretty bad. Okay, and the next couple things I got here is Batman Begins. Um, the the these are awesome. Well, one I love Batman. You know I love Batman, but these also came with a five dollar coupon for because this is really really HD. I'm not gonna show this part. Um, it came it came with the five dollar coupon for. Um, the the Dark Knight Rises, which is so pumping. I love. Cannot wait to go see that movie. The next one was obviously I had to get this one if I got Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and oh, it's I love it. It's got that matte finish. I like it. I I have another DVD steelbook of this, which is the. Uh, um, it's got the. Uh, it's like a glossy finish, but I kind of like this. I, I, I really dig it. I mean, it gives it that metal look, definitely. So, so yeah. You see the glare, it's not all shiny. Like some other ones. The next one I got was V for Vendetta, which is one of my... Uh, when I first saw this movie, I hated it. And then I saw it again, and I thought it was awesome. Um, definitely one of my favorite... Uh, Natalie Portman performances for sure. So the inside. Alright, and the next two are... Okay, so when I was saying that that they have the very the matte finish look which is Sherlock Holmes, right? 
But then there's this one that's really shiny. It's glossy. It's a lot more. Oh, come on. There we go. It's a lot more glossy than, than this one. So there, there's two different types of steel books. Also, okay, so you, you get the Sherlock Holmes one, right? And as you can see, there's no art in the back. But you get Sherlock Holmes 2, okay? And of course, you have back art, inside art, which I'm just saying, why are these Blu-ray exclusives from Best Buy not having any art in it? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But, I mean, I haven't seen the new one yet. I haven't watched this one yet, but I love, I love the first one. And it's Guy Ritchie. Uh, I felt like he wasn't doing great anymore. But after I saw this one, definitely I felt, you know, confident. But that's it. That's it. Jeez. Oh, How long is this video? Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching my... I, I, I will try not to wait this long next time because I definitely had a lot to show. So next time I'll definitely cut it down a lot. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, go, you know, thank you for subscribing, comment, like, thumbs up, whatever. Uh, also, go ahead and go to my my Facebook fan page and give me a like. I appreciate it. I, I'm trying to do a, like an everyday thing where a uh, question of the day and I, it's just fun really talking about movies. So, whenever I'm not making videos, you can always catch me on, on the Facebook. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.